Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, a.k.a. Pro Joe. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy what you're listening to. We're going to start doing more overall sports videos now and not just strictly hockey, which this channel has been a lot based on of late due to the fact that it is hockey season, but there's a lot of football, basketball, and baseball news going on as pitchers and catchers report today. But this is not a baseball video, even though I'm wearing a Philly shirt. There's going to be a video on the fact that Deshaun Watson... The likely best bet for the Houston Texans is him going to the Miami Dolphins. Uh, the Miami Dolphins have Tua. Uh, Tua's a guy that's going to continue to develop and become a really good quarterback in the NFL, in my opinion. Not everybody jumps right in and is the best thing since sliced bread. He had Fitch pick him up. Fitch is a great leader to have there. Not the best overall, obviously, starting quarterback, but a guy that's been around, a guy that's been able to step up in different times, and a good guy to be a good leader to be able to um, bring you into the league. It was unfortunate he got injured last year, but... They're, they have a chance to develop this team around Tua if they want to in Miami and actually build around him. Or they could go out and get Watson because they probably have the best chance. If you're the Houston Texans and you want to have a guy that's still able to do some of the stuff of Deshaun Watson, obviously not to Deshaun's extent, nobody's really Deshaun, but Tua Tabby has a ceiling of being just below Deshaun if he really does become what we fully think he is and maybe even being Deshaun Watson. So I think he's the best bet because the Houston Texans have screwed themselves over when it comes to draft capital. The Bill O'Brien was a doofus of a general manager. He was terrible. He was one of the worst. And I hate saying that because I'm a fan of Penn State, but he sucked. He was a disgrace of a general manager. He was an okay coach while he coached. He actually coached when he just focused on coaching in the past before they gave him the power. But he's a guy that clearly was power hungry. He did the same exact thing as uh, Chip Kelly did here in Philadelphia, and he ruined an entire franchise. Um, J.J. Watt wanted to get released. They ended up getting rid of him, which is also a damn disgrace in itself. The fact that Watt just was able to go to ownership and say, hey, it's my time's up. Get me out of here. And they're like, okay, cool. And they won't do the same thing for Deshaun Watson as of yet. That's a disgrace in itself. But that's a different topic for a different time and a much more in-depth, controversial topic. If we get into that, so I won't get into that now. But Deshaun Watson should be granted the same grace as J.J. Watt. They're both franchise legends. Deshaun Watson, hell, was the only reason anybody gave a crap. Not J.J. Watt, because J.J. Watt was injured and banged up and not the same J.J. Watt. Deshaun Watson is the only reason anyone would give a flying hoot about the Texans last year. They were a disgrace to the NFL. The entire franchise was a disgrace to the NFL almost as much, or actually equally as much as the Jets. So... That's just the way it was. I think the Sean will be traded there for Tua and a third. That is the best bet for them. Get Tua and the third overall pick. The Texans need draft capital. Tua will be a good guy for Deshaun Watson to be able to blend him, to be able to come to Texans, kind of do some of the same things, learn. Obviously, it might not be the best situation for him because the Texans don't seem to know what the hell they're doing to put anybody around a quarterback. But if they're able to do it, and actually commit to their new quarterback much more than they committed to a guy that, by the way, is an MVP-level quarterback, and probably last year you could even argue was the best in the NFL because you had a dog trash team and still put up those MVP numbers. Where, just, or excuse me, Aaron Rodgers did not have a dog trash team, put up great numbers, and so I mean you could really argue that Deshaun was the most impressive quarterback last year with ease because his team sucked. They had no help. The coaching staff didn't help him at all. The management didn't help him at all. And they still, he, they obviously didn't get wins, but he still put up MVP numbers. I mean, Deshaun Watson's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. He's going to continue to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Tua has the ceiling to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. So that trade makes sense. You get a third overall pick back to kind of help the fact that you screwed over your entire franchise with draft capital. The pretty much the Pittsburgh Penguins of football. They just decide, let's get rid of all our draft capital, hope for the best. That that ain't going to work. You need to be able to draft well. You need to be able to pick up well. You need to be able to find those undrafted guys that actually hit a little bit and be able to put them into your system as well. You have to be able to do a combination of the three to be successful. The Houston Texans can't even do one of the three. So they really need to work on becoming better and building their organization back stronger so it can flourish and actually get to where it needs to go. This team is a disgrace to the NFL right now. Trading for Tua and getting a third can really help alleviate that disgrace on your name. They're not. They're, I feel bad for their fan base because I don't think this team's going anywhere anytime soon. I think it should take three to five years because of how bad they made the situation. But I think their best bet is get the third overall pick, 
pick one of the wide receivers you need to help Tua Tugavaiola, and then also continue, obviously, to build up your lines on both sides, D-line and offensive line, and build up your defense as a whole. You lost J.J. Watt. It's going to take you a while, even at this point of his career, to replace somebody with the stature of J.J. Watt. So I th- And he could end up going to the Cardinals to re-team up with DeAndre, which would make that team a lot more um, look out for, especially with they make more moves that I think they're going to make, obviously, when the March, when it hits in the middle of March and we're allowed to start signing people. But officially, and allowed to make these trades official that went through already, as Andrew said in our Eagles video yesterday. If you're an Eagles fan, please check out our Eagles podcast yesterday where we talked about how Wentz is going to be moved and et cetera, et cetera, and how Erps is going to be moved and et cetera, et cetera. So please check that out. But this has been a short six-minute video on Deshaun Watson. He should go... He should go to the Dolphins because that's a good situation for him. I'm not sure if it's going to be a good situation for Tua in Houston, but the best bet for Houston is to try to get Tua, try to put a team around him in Jamar Chase or any of the other receivers in the draft, and you're going to be able to actually build a foundation. That team has no foundation. They have no chemistry. They're as divided as the Democrats to Republicans. So you need to find something to bring this ship together. And that is somebody of a leader. We saw how good of a leader Deshaun was, or excuse me, we saw how good of a leader Tua was in Alabama. We also saw how good of a leader Deshaun is being able to still put up numbers like that with a disgraceful franchise. So the Miami Dolphins are trending upwards. The Houston Texans are either staying the same or trending downward. But if you get Tua in the third overall pick, that gives you a much better chance of continuing to trend upward. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Burr. Please check out my live show on Steel Flyers, that is going to be from 8 to 10 tonight. We'll go more in depth on the quarterback carousels around the league, how Jimmy G, Rodgers, uh, most likely not, as he's probably going to stay with the team. But others are likely to potentially move, obviously, to Sean Watson, Russell Wilson's made at Seattle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We'll go into that in the NFL segment of the show tonight, so please check that out. This ended up actually being a little bit over a seven-minute video. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borick, a.k.a. Pro Joe. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you're hearing. And obviously, we wish Deshaun Washington and Tua took of Iowa the best if they end up being traded. And we wish them the best if they stay in their same teams and have to figure it out there. Tua has a great chance of flourishing in Miami, in my opinion, anyway, because they're building the team right. If Deshaun has to stay in Houston, I wish him the best because I don't know how well that franchise is going to be able to bounce back and be able to actually make a name for themselves after they disgrace themselves so much. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out.